even birds of the air can tell the biggest land grabber in this country, if not in the world, and that is Ruto himself. We all know that Ruto does not see any empty piece of land anywhere, and even any land that is occupied, and he does not go for it. I'll give you an instance. I was the Minister of Land, and the worst that I saw Ruto trying to do was to grab the piece of land that belonged to Langata Primary School next to his Western Hotel. Poor children's land that he himself thought it wise to grab it, to own it, to even bring Ascaris to tear gas poor children who come from the slums and who have nowhere to live, who have nowhere to play. I do pray and hope that Ruto will never be in a position where he can do that kind of a thing again. Only recently we saw Ruto grab uh, Siwa, Siwa, Cho. He grabs everything. He has grabbed Cho. He has grabbed possession away. We know that he is the same man. Ruto has had many cases in court. He even grabbed um, late Muteshi's land. This man, should, it cannot be coming from his mouth that he can talk like this. And therefore I want to say to William Ruto, to really come out of the lie that he can help young people when he has been in leadership for the last nearly 30 years, yet after so many years, the only thing that he can show that he can do is to use the money that he has either sold land or sold maize or sold sugar or sold rice or sold this or people's land and then start buying our children wheelbarrows and mikokoteni. If he has got to do that kind of a thing for our children, let him first of all serve the same to his children. Then we can understand his language.